the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be talking about the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. And yes, that is quite a long title. So derivatives of inverse trig functions, these are where we are given something like y equals inverse sine of x. And we're asked to figure out what is the derivative of y. Well, we don't really have tools to do it directly. However, implicit differentiation allows us to be able to figure it out. So we are going to rewrite y equals inverse sine of x as x equals sine of y. And then implicit differentiation is going to give us a way that we can be able to solve for y prime. So taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, derivative of x is 1, the derivative of sine of y, that's going to be cosine of y times the derivative of y. So it's going to be 1 equals cosine of y times y prime. We can then solve for y prime, and we get y prime is equal to 1 over cosine of y. Since y is equal to the inverse sine of x, we can replace the y in the 1 over cosine of y with arc sine of x, and we get y prime is 1 over cosine of inverse sine of x. Now, if we draw out a triangle, um, we would be able to figure out what cosine of inverse sine of x would be, and it's going to be the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the derivative of inverse sine of x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We can now do the same thing if we were given y equals arc cosine of x. What is going to be y prime there? Well, we can rewrite this as x equals cosine of y. Then implicit differentiation gives us 1 equals negative sine of y, y prime. So y prime is negative 1 over sine of y. And then if we plug in y equals inverse cosine of x, we're going to end up with y prime is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. If we do the same thing with tangent, we'd get 1 equals secant squared of y times y prime after we've taken the implicit differentiation. And so that gives us that y prime is going to be cosine squared of y. So then y is inverse tangent of x, so we're able to then plug everything through, and we find that the derivative of arctangent of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Um, I only went through three of them, but the other three are um, not too much worse. Um, they are a bit confusing to do sometimes, and so here's a handy table that has all six of them all at the same time. Um, I hope this video was helpful and that it helps you understand the inverse trig functions derivatives a little bit better, as well as how to be able to do them on your own if you needed to. Uh, in short, just rewrite them in terms of uh, x equals something in terms of y, and then use implicit differentiation. So I hope it was helpful. Please check out some of my other videos, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already so that I can continue to make these sorts of videos. Have a great rest of your day, and good luck with the rest of your math.